It's a grand old flag, it's a high-flying flag, it's the emblem for me and for you. It's the emblem of the team we love, the team of the red and Brett Rapone, we're looking at sponsors this week, and they're so important, of course, apart from anything in, else, the WAFC, it takes a bit of pressure off the finances with that, and uh, of course we've got Channel 9. Yeah, look, uh, there was a great announcement we were able to make uh, two weeks ago now. Um, look, if we can get the on-field stuff uh, going well, which, which we clearly have, we're back on track with that, but more important, if we can get the off-field stuff right, and sponsorship is crucial, as is membership, we feel there's a long-term future of sustained success for the football club, and that's crucial. And Channel 9 uh, have come on board with a three-year deal, which does take the pressure off the football club in terms of its reliance on the WAFC, um, but also I think it's a, great, um, it's a great signal to the wider community when Channel 9, a blue-chip corporate, wants to support a, a Waffle Football Club. Also in terms of uh, sponsorship, we have Les Fong uh, coming on board this year with Creedon. Right. He was a backup winner in the um, Corporate Classic and also Fred Bloffwich from Townsend Financial Solutions. Uh, and our major winner, of course, was uh, Major Motors and we're delighted to have Major Motors on board. Um, Brent Howard, who uh, is, a, is a strong employee and a strong supporter of West Perth and Major Motors has uh, been the backbone of our, of our banquet auction, if you like, for many years. So it's a great result. Um, we're really happy with how we're travelling at the moment off-field. And, of course, Saturday's result just makes it even sweeter. Yeah, they've found their, their mojo now, and, and the, the Resis had a big win too. Yeah, the, the reserves were good. We've probably been playing um, good football for a couple of weeks, but our skill execution hasn't been great. Uh, on the weekend, the whole package arrived. And, um, you know, we had Matt Gordigan out, and we had Andrew Cracker still to come into the side. Um, we're a really young list, um, which is exciting for, for all Falcon fans. It's an exciting future for sure. Bill, a great win last week, and uh, we've got another game this week, of course, but you would have been happy with the last one? Yeah, very happy. It was great to go back to Leaderville Oval, and I thought the players came with great intent and effort, and they, they really put on great pressure um, against the East Perth side. Um, that had a few outs, so that, that helped us, but um, look, I think the attitude the players had, we would have beaten anyone with, with that style of play we had. So really pleased with that and got our season back at 2-2 two and two and, and now um, we just need to make sure that we're um, capitalising on that going forward. Exactly. It's a tra- talented lineup for sure. It seems to me they've been playing really well all along, but they like the endeavours being there, but the, the skills, the goal kicking and that's been lacking a bit. Yeah, look, the, the, the um, pressure side and the endeavours probably been at 85 or 90% and, and that really lifted on the weekend and our skills have probably been at 20%. So and that was a huge improvement and all of a sudden we started hitting targets inside forward 50. Um, not only did we have 62 inside 50 but we took 25 marks inside 50. So some of our field kicking was outstanding. Um, still making a few blues by foot. Um, and we, that's something that we're going to continue to work on. But look, really impressed with the way the players have bounced back. And, and it was great to beat East Perth. And, and also the twos had a, an outstanding win as well. I guess the, the flow-on effect of East Perth losing a couple up to the Eagles and then pushing up to the league side. And for a side who hadn't won a game and were down on confidence, it was great for them to get up with a big win as well. And, and that shows the talent the boys have got down there in the twos. And, and if they keep working hard and, and come, come with the right effort and, and work rate, then they should be able to match it with any side in the reserves competition as well. Fantastic. Yeah, that, that's all good news. And the, uh, this week we've got South Fremantle. And any more players coming back or how are we situated there? Yeah, look, I'd expect Matt Gordon to put his hand up to get selected. And, and Andrew Cracker obviously played his best game for us in the twos. I think he had 26 touches and six or seven tackles. And, and whilst he still may be a little underdone, um, we think it's probably getting to that stage now where we seriously need to consider him for senior footy. Um, probably playing in the senior side in a cameo-type role coming on and off the, off the bench is probably going to get him to where we need him to be quicker. Um, it's tough for someone of Andrew's ability and, and standing mm. to, to play reserves footy at times. And um, so, look, he, he will come under consideration. And uh, I guess when you win by 100 points, it's tough to make um, any changes. But, you know, those two in particular would be a chance. And Matthew Spencer was a late withdrawal. He just pulled up sore on Friday with, with a sore groin and he'd worked hard over the first three weeks. Um, 
So it was disappointing that he he was a um, late withdrawal, but it gave James Batterham another another crack, and I thought he was very serviceable. Paul Zanzoni, and uh, how long have you been coaching the reserves for? Um, this is my uh, fifth season as as the um, reserves coach. Um, I've been with Bill in his tenure since he's been here. Um, I come to the club via um, an ex, I'm an ex player of the club back in the uh, late eighties, eighties, early nineties. Um, went away for a little while um, and got an opportunity to coach. Um, up at Swan Districts with uh, my cousin in the Colts there um, and it led to me probably having a chat with Gavin Bell one day and asking us to come back to the club so I helped um, uh, Bally out in the Colts one year then went up the following year to the seniors with Todd Todd Curley that, that year um, and Hanson been with Bill um, since he's, as I said his tenure here as his assistant in the league side and coaching the reserves. Fantastic of course the reserves of the grand final last year that must have been great experience for everyone. Oh it certainly was it was a great day for the club to have uh, both both teams, uh, reserves and seniors, on, on the last day in September. Um, ultimately, two two flags would have been great, but uh, we're here to win that big one, and uh, we certainly did. And as I said to our guys afterwards, what we were able to achieve, probably in the you know we we started at zero and six, um, we went on a 10 or 11 game winning streak, ultimately getting us into the last day. And look, the experience that those guys were able to gather on that day um, will hopefully you know hold them in good stead for their future footy uh, years ahead of them. Every heartbeat. Sing the song to you.